Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mackenzie Palladino and I'm the independent metalsmith behind Simply's Designs. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you more about my upcoming bolo tie collection, Sunrise Over El Paso. I'm so excited to bring you this collection. This is my biggest one yet with 30 bolo ties to be featured, all made of different varieties of turquoise. So the reason this collection is so important to me is because it's entirely dedicated to my grandfather, Roy Phelps. He was very into Western music, TV shows, movies, and books when I was growing up. I really remember that part of his personality. So I really wanted to dedicate this entire collection to him and I wanted to explain to you how I did that. For a lot of the musical inspiration in this collection, you can see on the backs of the bolo ties, there's a lot of Western style music, such as Gene Autry, which was one of his favorite musicians back in the day. Um, Marty Robbins, you'll see some Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, of course, people like that that really inspire me to create and also inspired my grandfather when he was alive. So I wanted to pay tribute to him through harnessing the types of music that he loved. A few of the books that he owned, my mother was able to gift to me as some inspiration for the collection. And I just wanted to share these with you. So this is Louis L'Amour. He is a very famous author. Um, he wrote a bunch of Western books, which I really look forward to reading these. And as you can tell, the covers are just so beautiful. So these are inspiration in itself. And the fact that my grandfather owned these is just so special to me. And it was really cool to incorporate these in the flat lays that we use for photography. So you'll see a few of those as I'm posting content and on my website um, release. Here is one of the pieces of art that he created. Like I said, he was a leather worker and his art was beautiful. So I really do think that that's where I got a lot of my talent from and my love for art. This is just some up close detail just to give you an idea. So I really cherish this piece so much. I carry it with me whenever I have big events to vend at, but I'm very particular about where I bring it because I don't wanna have anything happen to it. It's one of my prized possessions. I really appreciate that piece so much and it just makes me think of him whenever I am able to carry it. I decided to name the collection Sunrise Over El Paso because the song El Paso by Marty Robbins tells an amazing story about how a cowboy met a girl in Texas and a sweet Mexican girl and she was beautiful and the way he speaks about her is just so angelic and loving and you don't really find that in music nowadays. I feel like Western music back in the day was just so in depth when it comes to emotion and detail and like telling a story. So I really wanted to harness the idea of romance and meeting someone that you're passionate about and making that into a collection as well, like adding inspiration to the collection. The term Sunrise Over El Paso, I had a vision in my mind when I heard the song El Paso of a cowboy and this sweet girl sitting on a cliff, like a dusty cliff overlooking the sunrise over El Paso. To me, I was you know, trying to imagine what it would have been like in that experience to find that connection with somebody, what would be some of the senses you would experience. So I started to think of you know, a few of the senses, which would be, you know, there would probably be leather wear, the smell or the sense of leather, like the feel, um, the smell of tobacco, maybe tequila, mezcal, something of the sort would be involved, um, and just the view of the sunrise. So with all of this, I had this vision, and so I decided to pick a piece from the collection that I would fully put that vision into, and I tend to do that with a lot of my collections. I'll pick the mother piece or like the main stone that I decide is like the most unique and the most you know beautiful, and I take that piece and I translate it into having the most in-depth meaning. For this specific piece, it's like a triangular turquoise piece, I wrote a poem in regards to the vision that I had and I stamped it on the back of that piece. In my opinion, one of the most special pieces in the collection because it really just tells the story the best. And I also wanted to discuss, there's a second piece that beautiful green turquoise stone that I decided to use the stone because it looks very feminine and just, it really speaks for itself. So you look at the stone and you think, wow, you know, that's so stunning, but then on the back, I decided to put love for Felina as a way to kind of mimic a response, if you will, to the song El Paso. Like it's kind of, you know, explaining like, oh, we see your love for Felina because at the end of the song, it tells a story about how he loved her the whole time, but he wasn't sure how he felt or how she felt until the end of his life. So it's a great song. I highly suggest you listen to it to get a better idea of my collection. 
And that piece in particular, Love for Felina, is kind of like the sister piece to the main piece. So I really loved creating that one as well. For the photo shoot, I knew that I wanted to go with my good friend Haley. She did such an amazing job with the Divine Feminine photo shoot. Her content is out of this world and I will continue to use her as a photographer for as long as I can. She's truly amazing and she was able to fully bring my vision to life once again. We photographed all the pieces and the models in Switch Studio, which is a new studio in Nash that Haley is owning for um, a short period of time and I look forward to photographing there again, but I just wanted to shout her out for a second. Um, so for the models, I knew that I wanted to go with local musicians in Nashville. I just had a feeling that since there was so much musical influence in this collection and in all of my work in general, I wanted to promote other artists in Nashville. I chose Ruthie Collins and Charlie Treat to model for me and they both did an amazing job. I really appreciate how well they captured my vision as well. It just, it all really worked out and it was seamless. So I look forward to sharing more content in regards to my collection with you all. It's such a good one. It's really so meaningful to me that I was able to dedicate this to my grandfather because I know that if he were able to see all the hard work I put into my business, he would be so proud of me. So it means a lot that I'm able to do that. And I appreciate you watching this video and listening to what I have to say. So until next time, thank you guys. Have a good one.